Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the weekly webinar. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about um, how to verify and validate an email using Salesforce uh, Flow Builder and Mass Mailer. So the feature that we have implemented is meant to auto verify an email address on any object that has been enabled in a mass mailer. You can use a process builder or flow builder, both are the same. And you can uh, track the verification status at the object level, uh, which is uh, a custom related list called mass mailer email, um, ma uh, actually mass mailer verify status. And uh, anything that's invalid, abuse, pan trap, or do not email status, we auto suppress them, which means um, when you're trying to send out an email next time, uh, those get auto suppressed. And this is the kind of information that we store whenever you validate an email address. Uh, we store the address, um, the status, substatus, domain, how, what is the age of the domain, free email. MX information, SNTP provider information, and the other information about the actual person, um, you know, who owns this email address, such as first name, last name, gender, city, region, zip code, country, and what time actually email got verified. Uh, and these are the values that we actually store, valid, invalid, catch all, unknown, spam, trap, or abuse, do not email. Catch all, valid, invalid is quite apparent. Catch all means anything such as info, or sales at your domain.com, those kind of email addresses. Unknown is something that we do not know what the uh, verification status is. Spam trap is something that uh, people use to, um, you know, uh, find out who are the spammers and they publish these kind of spam trap emails. Um, so if you're scraping the data from the internet, uh, most likely you may have spam traps in your list. Uh, very, very uh, difficult to repair the reputation, if at all you send emails to the spam trust because you will be considered as a spammer. Um, abused, this is for the people who actually abuse your emails, so don't send emails to them. Do not email, uh, so this is again, um, you know, don't send the email to those people for which the status is do not email, right? As other substatus, as you can see, there are many of them, uh, that is also stored. And then these are the ones that we actually suppress, invalid, spam, trap, or abuse, do not email, and in do not email, global suppression, disposable, toxic, these are three substatus values that we take. And make sure that we don't send emails to them once again, okay? All right, let's take a look on uh, how this flow can be developed and how this can be used. So you go to Salesforce setup, so that I'm assuming you know, this is a Salesforce setup, the gear icon, and then, uh, type in flow in quick find, you will get this flows thing. Now I have this verify new leads, uh, which I'm actually gonna go open. And this verify new leads is uh, a brand new flow that I created. I'll just show you, it's quite simple. All I have is, you know, I'm triggering this upon a lead creation, as you can see, whenever the lead object is created, and I have some conditions for the last name equals verify. This is just for the sake of demo purposes. But you can have your own uh, conditions such as the lead status, or the lead source, or whatever that you want to um, add as a filter criteria. You can actually create that and you know add that particular condition and then validate. So this is what I have here. Um, and then uh, after which I have an action that is getting invoked, run immediately in Apex action. And I would just click open and it just calling this mass mailer, um, verify email, uh, verify via mass mailer Apex action. So it has only two fields. Uh, one is the record ID. Uh, so that's just the reference purpose, uh, which record you're actually validating and then uh, email field, uh, so right now, the way you can enter the email field is just by entering the API name of that particular email field. So since I'm using a standard email field, it's email. If it's a custom email field, you will have to mention whatever the email field name is. Uh, you can also add multiple, meaning you can have comma separated email fields as well. Uh, just by adding comma and then add the other fields. Okay, so that's it. Those are the two input values. 
uh, once you have it, uh, click down and then make sure that you, um, you know, save and then activate. Uh, so these are all, um, you know, basically all good. I have one active one, version two that is active. So let's just go to leads and then go ahead and go create. I'll just call this as uh, so one verify because I have that um, last name verify thing in there. So I'll just go ahead and add an email address. That is valid. I'll just go save this. So this should basically fire off that particular action. And then it should just go create this email status, as you can see. I created a verify status called valid, right? The status is valid and it's, it's related to this lead. So I want verify, okay? And you can actually see that um, if I refresh the screen perhaps. You can see that verify status. Now let us go create one more. This time around, I'm actually going to go create something that is invalid. So just call it as. Slide and just go save. So that should basically create a lead. Again, it's creating a verification job. Go there, total submitted, invalid. The verify status, it says mailbox not found, and the status is invalid. So we got the invalid status, and the mailbox not found is a substatus, and this is related to see to verify. So that's how simple it is to validate any email address using the flow builder. Again, you can do the same thing with the process builder as well, but as you know, process builder is getting decommissioned in a year or so. Uh, we recommend that you just use a flow builder. I hope um, kind of uh, gone through the entire feature. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put in the chat box. Um, you can also send an email to me or call us at these numbers. You can drop us an email at hello at massmedia.io or you can contact us on our website. And if you're interested in joining these webinars, it's a weekly webinar, it happens every Thursday at 8, 8 a.m. Pacific. And uh, uh, this would be the last webinar for this year and we will initiate again next year. Uh, most likely the very first webinar in January going to be the second week, but you will uh, come to know uh, if you are in our email list, you will receive an email. Uh, you can also check this on our website. Um, you know, we'll post it on our website as well and also our social channels. And if you're new to Mass Miller, if you're interested in uh, getting on a trial, feel free to go to our website and click on the uh, free trial button and go ahead and install it, okay? And these uh, videos are gonna be posted to our YouTube channel called Mass Miller, so you can easily find us on YouTube. And I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, because I'll get notified on any new uh, video that has been added to our channel, okay? Once again, uh, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Um, wish you uh, good luck and uh, wish you happy holidays and a happy new year. Thank you, bye-bye.